our full example okay so we finished the, the course and we are going to, to complete our full five star hotel example this is what could be considered as a full review for all what we did in the course okay actually i have prepared a very summary steps so we can use it as a checklist uh, for our um, session i don't think that we can finish it in one session so we can do uh, maybe two or three sessions for this example so let's go to our uh, steps so these are the steps that i prepared in order to just remind you when you do your own dashboard so it's very basic steps and we have done all of them so let's start before we start i would like to give you a brief for my project so this is a project of a five star hotel and it has a podium and two towers so the podium it has basement which is a yellow part okay and it has four floors for of podium and then we have two towers the h3 which is the long one 20 floors and h4 is a short one 11 floors okay and also i would like to show you the ground floor because we are going to work on this layout as well so i have technical area which is the green part okay we have also the main hall which is the red part we have the the offices which is the blue part okay and we have the storages the yellow one and we have the shopping galleries so this is the ground floor and regarding the primavera i will work on three programs the baseline october 13 update and may 14 update this is the last one and October 13, just I picked one update between the baseline and the uh, last update. Okay, so this is uh, the start date, uh, 24th of March 2011, and 8th of May was the last update. And we will compare uh, May 14 update to October 13 update. Okay, to see the trend and the progress. Fine. So let's go to our steps and see what is the first one. So adjust the activity codes. So in the primavera it's i'm not saying i'm not asking something special so let me open the baseline and let me show you uh, my activity codes so i uh, will open the layout and this is the activity codes okay i should here you can see all my activity codes zone number town number discipline CSI division floor number and hotel areas okay the only trick that i would like to stress on that i i recommend you to make all codes in all activities okay so don't leave anything blank especially especially in the construction activities so here you can see that i don't have any blanks the in all codes i have values in for all construction activities okay so because later on i don't like to have blanks in the visuals and in the slicers okay fine so step number two, export task data to Excel database for the baseline and the updates. And also step number three, export the resource data to Excel database, baseline and the updates. So step number two and three, we will do it for the baseline and for the updates. Okay, so let me open the layout. So this is the task table. I have layout stored here very basic information nothing special uh, for the customization i'm not using any customization so zero customization and for the columns these are my columns just four main groups the first group basic activity information and here dates information earned value information activity percent earned value information and activity codes okay so um, I'll hit OK and just copy paste, just select all and copy this and paste it in my uh, Excel sheet. Let me open my Excel sheet. So this is my database, as you see, this is for the baseline tasks. OK, and these are my data. Fine. And I will do it also for the updates, for all the updates that I'm going to work on. I will take all the tasks and the info that that fine okay regarding the resources i go to resource assignments 
and let me open my layout okay again it's very basic information customization nothing zero customization and for the columns these are the columns that i'm going to take okay and for the budget distribution i just adjust the time scale to months okay and i will select all and copy and paste it here i will do it for the baseline and for the updates okay step number four we done one two and three so that we have prepared the activity code dictionary okay so to link the, the activity codes to the tasks i have to prepare the dictionaries which these tables okay so simply i go to the primavera i go to enterprise activity codes then i go take all these activity codes copy and paste it in my database okay i will I'll take all of them one by one and prepare these tables the only trick here that i have to rename the headers so for example this is csi i have to put csi activity code csi description disabling code value disabling description uh, podium value podium description okay so this is the only trick for the activity code okay so uh, but after that again very important very important that you have to properly put names for your, your tables and the tabs so uh, here these are my uh, tabs names let me show you the, my table names as well so these are my tabs names and this all also my table names so for the tasks i start the table name with tasks so tasks underscore then october 13 table here tasks underscore may 14 table here tasks underscore baseline table for the resources same i start with resources underscore and call it baseline okay and for this update resources underscore may 14 table so later on also i do the same for the codes i start with the codes for all codes you will find the same i'm starting with the codes because later on when i import this to my data and my database to sort to the power pi everything will come under each other i will show you later so for the summary i'm taking very summary information this is data entry i'm putting this information so this is very basic information regarding the project okay and for the s curve again date monthly budget monthly earner value cumulative budget cumulative earner value and for the cost data for date cost budget earned value actual cost and cumulative budget and cumulative earned value and cumulative actual cost and i'm going to share with you this file okay yeah uh, we have in just when we copy and paste our information to the excel the date the start and the finish dates some of them they have actuals or they have constraints so they will find some symbols either letter a or i this is not here now because i removed them but some some of them they will find letter a or star for the constraint so to remove this you have to insert one column after the start one column after the finish then you have to go to data then text to column and choose delimited then next then in the space check the space check the other put the star hit next and finish okay this will remove all the dates so you have to make sure that all your dates are recognized as dates okay so this is how we remove the currency and the constraint symbols after that we need to open our power pi and to import our database okay so we go to our power pi and the, you have to save your data okay you don't have to close it but you have to save it even you if you, later if you update your database you have to save it first okay then you will choose the excel from here or here 
so I will choose my database and it will open up for me all my tables I'm taking my tables so all these are tables as you see here all my codes are under each other all my tasks under each other all my resources tables under each other so this is how I like to organize my my tables <clears throat> so tasks yeah, under each other so it's very organized okay and the hit load or your tables now will, will come uh, in the fields area so these are all my tables now I have them okay and step number one in Power PI is you have to adjust your model so you will go to your model and adjust the relationships between the tables so let me close this and close this and show you these are my tables and I have as previously explained I have to link my tables so let me finish this uh, relations and I will reorganize my tables and we'll continue next session uh, I will continue with our example okay thank you and see you next session bye